in the first episode, we worked on writing a story, and what we did was write our story at the bottom of each page and leave room for illustrations. Today, we get to do the pictures. Okay, so I ended up printing out my story so that I could cut out the text and tape it to the bottom of each page. You don't have to do that. You can just write it at the bottom of each page, whatever you want to do. And so let's get started. Okay, so um, what I was thinking of doing is, and I started already, I'm going to take the pieces of my story and I'm going to tape them to the bottom here so that I can draw the pictures above them. One thing I needed to make a decision on was whether to make it a portrait book or a landscape book. And it just so happened those tablets that we tore up in the last episode, they still have this sticky gum stuff on the end. And so it kind of still keeps it as a book for right now. So the first page, John woke up one morning to find he had become 12 feet tall. Now the first page is going to be the title page. Here's the publisher's info and the dedication page. So we're actually going to start on pages four and five. And I'm going to go ahead and stick this on the bottom. Okay? It doesn't have to be really super cool. Come back and, and work on that later. The next page. When John looked out the window, he saw his dog had grown to be 12 feet tall and one inch. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out right now. And I'm going to stick it on the next page. Now, just so you know how this story is going to go, because we're going to kind of work on the first three illustrations, we we'll put this down here. When John looked out the window, he saw his dog had grown to be 12 feet tall and one inch. The next page is going to be, but nobody seemed to notice, which was really weird because everybody was squished around him. Okay? So we know that that's where it's going to go, and you might want to go ahead and have all of your story already printed on there, but I'm going to go ahead for um, expediency's sake, and I'm going to go ahead and start drawing my pictures. Okay? So, let's see. I'm hoping that you can see this. All right? Can you see it? Did you want to come in a bit? Come in. It's like Sesame Street. <laughs> Come on in. Okay, so John woke up one morning to find he had become 12 feet tall. So let's draw John. And I'm thinking the book itself, this uh, the two pages, can actually be his room. Okay, and he's going to be so tall that, uh, let's say, his um, his head's going to be pushed up against the uh, up against the ceiling. And here's his neck. And uh, let's give him some pajamas. Um, kind of want to give him some pajamas kind of like um, yeah he can be kind of actually falling off of the falling off of the <laughs> falling off of the, the page itself okay and he has these big long pajamas and his legs are so long I think it would be really cool if we had this leg being so long that it's going to come out through the window here's his his window, and I guess here would be his bed and his pillow, okay? And I'm thinking here, I kind of want to, I don't know if this is dark enough, but I kind of want to give his uh, his pajamas some stripes like that, uh, I don't know, Alexander's very horrible, bad, terrible, terrible day, the Judith Vorsten Ray Cruz book, so kind of just do this for right now. Not really a big deal. You'll be coloring yours in later. Okay, and the really important thing here, I think, is that we think about John here. Okay, he's going to have, like, gumby hair, right? Because he just woke up. Here's his ear, and he's surprised because he woke up. <laughs> and now he's 12 feet tall. We could even have, you know, like, maybe, a, like, measuring, you know? Make, like, 12 feet, right? And I think it would be really cool if when we do the book... We open it up on this side, and he sees his dog, and his feet are actually coming out of the window, right? And so he could just have <laughs> his feet. His feet would be really big, and the dog is so big that it's licking him with its tongue, right? And so, of course, the dog would have the teeth, right? And we'll see maybe an ear, but the dog is so big 
that it just completely goes off the page. And you get to start coloring this in and really drawing it in. Now, when I was little and I did my first book, A Trip Through the Space Air, I actually drew it with pencil. And then I came back in and outlined it with a marker, you know, real carefully. And then I started to color it in. Okay, this is really great. So now I'm gonna start to color him in, right? Oh, we forgot to put in his nose. We'll put in his nose, okay? And we can start, you know, making his hands really big and really long, and it'll be really fun. So later on, when you become an adult and you're working on a book, they'll talk about things like conflict and plot and all sorts of other great things. But right now, when I'm working on a book, I like to think about just having fun. And that's what I want you to think about, too. In the next episode, we're going to talk about the parts of a book. We're going to talk about the title page, the dedication page, the publisher's info, and the illustrations. We'll also talk about the gutter. We'll talk about the spine. We'll talk about the covers. And that's when we get to bring in the really cool stuff. Now, as you remember, last time I did that uh, green, lime green popsicle cover thing. And we're going to actually make one of those so that you can put a cover on your book and so that you can carry it around with you and keep it forever because that's the best part of all, making your own book and having it always. So episode three, parts of the book, and then you'll be finished. Catch you later. Bye-bye.